What's going on, Big Song Gamers? It is Benson. Today, we're going to be comparing the Cold War Zombies ray gun to the Vanguard ray gun. Let's get into it. Let's be real here. The ray gun from Cold War Zombies is absolutely amazing. I mean, you're seeing this gameplay, right? It's just absolutely just shredding them up. It makes some crawlers here and there, but overall, the damage is really good considering it's pack punch tier one on around 25. It has a surprising amount of ammo capacity and also has a pretty good clip size. It used to be better, but unfortunately, Treyarch nerfed the weapon because it was extremely overpowered. And well, I mean, we all seen that before, but that's besides the point. The ray gun is actually a ray gun. It's actually a good damaging weapon. It does pretty good. You know, it can get you pretty far, get you into the hundred rounds. Keep going on with Ring of Fire. You have a really solid wonder weapon. It made this iconic weapon even more iconic. I think more players have seen this now more than ever. And really, it's just a fun weapon to use. I mean, it's just really nice to use with Ring of Fire and having the ability to have a ray gun weapon with PhD slider. Once again, like we've seen with PhD flopper and ray gun black and black ops one and two. It's just a really nice change of pace. I mean, now we have the, uh, the ray gun from Vanguard Zombies. I mean, are you seeing this gameplay? It's so bad. Like, this is the first ray gun to actually genuinely have recoil to it. I don't know what Treyarch was thinking. I know they're going to patch it, but it's just like, it's so funny to just look at the gameplay and just see how little damage. It's round 14, and this is tier 2 pack-a-punch, but it's just taking so many shots. It's crazy to think this gun is worse than a shotgun in this game.